Yeah, there's there's it over in the corner over there. It has the massage seats. And then this. When you own an AMG, but you can't fill up the tank all the way, baller. We're headed, we're headed to the bank right now, which you guys, you guys know what that means. So we just got 1100 in here. There's another $100 in my pocket that I just have in my wallet. Hopefully we can get what we're about to get for like $1,000. That's the goal. 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 Goals. Been going on off up, you know. Of course, check for all the good deals. I saw this S Class pop up. Uh, it's, I mean, it, it's all right, I guess. It's, oh my God, zoom out. So it's, it's fa fairly decent. Uh, as you noticed, AMG on the engine because it's a, it's an S55 AMG. It's got like this little dent on the door, but uh, yeah, S55 AMG. And it was posted for 1,900. Now dropped to 1,200 dollars has 138,000 miles and pretty much just has like very basic problems on it. Okay, yeah, it is. So yeah, so I messaged you because you know, it's been posted like two weeks ago. I was like, oh, I just wondering if it has a clean title. And he's like, salvage title. And I'm like, perfect. Because now I'm not gonna feel bad if anything happens to this thing because it wasn't like a clean example of a of an S55 anyways. Uh, and engine and transmission work well, everything like that. Yeah, blah. Engine and trans work nice. Suspension needs accumulators, not a big deal. Door locks don't work, not a big deal. Needs new center dash buttons for locks. Yeah, trunk needs new air latch, but still opens and closes. Again, not a big deal. Soon may need new crank position sensor and dent on the door from side hit from the previous owner. That's why it has salvage, not a big deal. Uh, tags are current, but car will need blah, 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 smog and all that sort of stuff, which not that is an issue. And yeah. And then he said, yeah, the suspension is all good and drives to LA and back, no problem. And yeah, it just needs the money because of a baby. So we're about 19 minutes away now and I'm gonna try and get this thing for $1,000. I think I'd be pretty happy with it because I know if everything fails on it, I could just sell it to a junkyard for about 500 bucks. So I'd only be out $500 if this thing ends up being completely trash, which I'm fine with that loss. We'll, we'll see how this works out. We'll see. We'll see. We will. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's it over in the corner over there. So the key with ever going to look at a car or anything like that is to never get your hopes up about it. So that way, you're never really disappointed and you, you can't really be let down. And if anything does go well, then you smile about it. So never get your hopes up about anything in life. No. The inside is quite nice. There's no rips, no anything. I'll go ahead and pop the hood and everything too. On the inside, everything yeah. on the inside works except for the, like the, it has the massage seats. The massage seats don't work. And then this is the panel I was talking about where the lock. Oh, for the work. lock and unlock, yeah. So stereo works, the air conditioning works, the heat works, sunroof works, everything works other than this panel. So the hazards, the backrests, the automatic backrests, and all of that stuff. It has massage seats in the front? Yeah, it has massage seats in the front. Massage, heated, and cooled mas seats in the front. And what about the back? The back does not. Okay. The two models have the S430, the S500, and the S500L. This uh -huh. one's based on the S500, which was the base S500 that doesn't have the massage seats in the back but it, each seat does have its own vanity mirror with light back here oh that's pretty dope yeah i've had the baby back here and everything many of times and so with this being the amg car this car makes like 380 horsepower yeah. um this is the non-supercharged motor so i like that um that's the crazy thing about these mercedes the parts and maintenance for the motors and transmissions are extremely cheap I bought new coil packs for the whole thing for $45 it's wonderful um, 45 bucks spark plugs on this cost like two dollars piece on these cars I'm not sure if you're familiar with it they have two spark plugs for each cylinder oh, okay yeah yeah um, but this is where the most of the damage is on this side as you can see right here 
Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I actually did get hit. Yeah, this is the site that it got on. That's probably where it came from, Salvage. I'm the third owner. The guy that I got it from was the second owner, and the first owner was his grandfather. This section right here, this is the part that got pushed in. I was going to take this and pull this out myself. I did this on my Volvo and do it myself and take this side and just kind of pull it out because it's off by maybe So half including an inch. the shock towers is pushed in? Yeah, this, this shock tower would be in about a quarter of an inch yeah. this way. Mm -hmm. main, I replaced this fender. Actually, I actually have the other fender back there. I was going to replace the door. The door costs 40 bucks. Yeah. At our pick a park yeah. place. But. You've been driving it, right? So this isn't rubbing on. No, I drive. It drives well. <laughs> and you'll you'll drive it. It definitely drives well. Soon it'll probably like it'll need the crank position sensor. Like let's say you've been driving it, it'll start fine and then you'll be driving it. And then you'll get to like a gas station or something and the car is hot. It'll, if it doesn't want to start again, you have to let it sit for a second so it cools off and okay. then you can start it up again. But Print position sensor is literally right here and costs $12 for the part. And one bolt takes about 10 minutes to do. Um, but I'll go ahead and start it up. I didn't, I haven't, I didn't run it or start because I wanted you to see everything yeah. and how the suspension does go up and everything. But you want to drive it? Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? Team meeting, it's going very well. This car pulls pretty hard for how big it is. Um, I didn't know that there was actual frame damage to the thing. It seemed like it was just a fender bender, but I think it was actually hit like kind of hard. But it's not that bad if I did want to pull it out or even just leave it as is. We were actually just gonna take this and use it as our tow vehicle. What? And put it, because these things are rated for almost 5,000 pounds. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so we were just gonna turn this into our tow vehicle and weld a big old bar and stuff yeah, on the yeah. back and weld the suspension up and just yeah. as I like, call it a day. Yeah. Like you said, it was yeah. salvage. It was supposed to be a project. It's, this is the same, the same transmissions and these are the same transmissions they put in for the V12 turbos that have oh, okay. like 700 pounds of torque. Yeah. So they're like bulletproof. So would you, would you be willing to do a thousand, straight thousand? I would definitely, I would definitely not mind, <laughs> but I mean, still a lot of car for the money. It is, it is a lot of car for the money. The only reason is because I, I really didn't realize that that was pushed in. For sure, yeah, dude. Um, of that, so. And for what you guys are gonna use it for, I'm fine with that. Yeah? Yeah, I hope to see it in some videos. Oh, it, it'll, the title of this one will be like, <laughs> buying an S55 AMG for a thousand dollars. There you go. There. <laughs> I would love to see that. <laughs> oh wow, you made it to the point one. He was literally the, the I'm one. The point one. What the? Wait, show that on camera. <laughs> he just followed me, and it switched from 17k to 17.1k. You made it. You made it big, guys. <laughs> yes, I feel special now. Yeah, well, well I give him this money. Do you think on it? Oh, sweet. I just kind of. It should be ten. Yeah, I mean, he graduated kindergarten, kind of, so he should be able to. <laughs> Yep, that's for sure, man. That's awesome. Sweet. Dude. Oh, good old handshake. Yeah. Oh, we, should, we should get oh, the, the handshake for the thin handshake. thumbnail in front of the car. There you go. That's all I do. There you go. Okay, so, so this is the first. Then... First day, front plate, and then the. Because I will die in this car. <laughs> <laughs> is it going to need it? It's safe. Yeah. Ish. I think this is like literally the highest horsepower car that I have, which is sad. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, right? Dang. It's not, 
That's not something to be proud of, I guess. Yeah, this is actually my clothing line brand that I have. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have and to then, get some. Get um, some Zorn. I own that, the studio, and then we're going to be starting up the car company. Okay, so what's the studio's name? Legacy Dance Leg Company. Legacy. Same, same, it's Legacy Motorsports and Legacy Dance Company. Should we bon voyage? We should bon voyage. Awesome, man. Have a good oh, yeah. time. I'll, yeah, hopefully you'll see how it goes. Yeah. We're only putting the, the finest in this baby, 91. 91. 20, we'll do $30. Let's we'll see if you can do it. What? See if I see it. What the? Yeah. <laughs> when you own an AMG but you can't fill up the tank all the way, baller. Okay, the seller was super nice. Everything went fairly well. Got it for a thousand dollars, which is pretty good. Shock tower is a bit messed up though, so I got to pull that back out, but no big deal. Uh, anyways, we got to drive back about an hour, hour and a half now because of traffic. So we'll do a little overview once we get back to the shop. And if we do get back to the shop and nothing breaks along the way. So here's the beauty. Just brought it home. It was fine. All the only thing is is that the check engine light came back on, but no big deal. I'm not really worried about that. But yeah, I mean this thing cools. It's fairly clean the interior. The seats are really comfy, honestly. I didn't even know that they had a massage feature. So a little bit sad that that doesn't work after finding out that it has that feature, but not a big deal. Um, still really don't know what I'm even going to do with this thing. I just kind of bought it because it was a good deal. I'm thinking I have two ways to really go about this is that I can either kind of fix this up and make it fairly clean because it is fairly clean and decent car or I could just completely not really even care about it and go that whole route with it. Let me know what you guys think I should do with this thing. I think I'm for sure going to weld the diff on it and drift it because I think that's going to be really fun in this car. But yeah, give me opinions on whether or not you think I should fix like the whole shock tower being pushed in a little bit on one side and whether I should do it clean or just go like, I don't know. I got, I got so many ideas. I want separate opinions on them because I really don't know which path to take right here. And also because it's only $1,000, I'm not really worried if anything happens to it because I know I could always sell the car to a junkyard for $500. And also those are AMG monoblocks, which as you can see, like there's a ton of these wheels for sale. And as you can see right there, 650 bucks right here. And they typically go for about 500 to thousand dollars, somewhere in that range. So in the case of this thing is pretty trash. I'll just swap out the wheels, sell them, and then sell the car to junkyard and break completely even. So not really worried at all about what ends up happening. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the car. Let me know what you think I should end up doing with it. If you're visiting this channel for the first time, make sure you subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, make sure to have notifications on. Also, you can follow me on Instagram um, at offbeat underscore garage. Check all that stuff out. And also go to offbeatgarage.com and then check out merchandise. So, but yeah, I'll keep an eye out in the comments, see what you guys suggest. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Well, we'll see him. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this.